Hey, Hi, ciao Markus. Daniele, welcome to uh, Lindau to Espresso TV, all Thank YouTube you. fans here, Daniele from Rocket. Uh, yeah, I'm really interested. Uh, yeah, how long do you do already this uh, coffee machine business? Let's say I've started. I was quite young in 1999. Okay. But speaking about Rocket, uh, we are in a business from uh, August 2007. So wow. we are now at the 16th year. Of Of yeah, business yeah. rockets. Yeah, so wow. And I started in 2005 and had no clue about coffee. <laughs> yeah. Okay, <laughs> but that's how to to de develop. Yeah, to yeah. Uh, express yourself. That's Absolutely. how I say. You are okay, totally right. Yes. It's uh, always a gradual approach. Yes, yes without yes. end. Yeah. Open end. I totally agree. And yeah. so every day to learn. Yeah, something cool. New. And now we learned something new uh, at the 16th anniversary of Rocket. Yeah. And this is the Apartamento TCA. Yes. And uh, there is some some specialty uh, which I wrote in the which I've read in the manual, yeah. which I read in the manual is the Easter egg. So I always okay. thought, where is this Easter egg? I yeah. <laughs> I already thought to to give you an Easter egg as yeah. a present, <laughs> but uh, it's this one here. Yes, exactly. And can you please translate because it's yeah. in a Milano slang. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, we decided to bring some Milanese culture yeah. inside yeah. Our, our offer. Yeah. And we decided to bring this phrase, which is in dialect, in all dialects, uh, Milanese dialect. And more or less, just to give a translation, is that uh, we are saying that uh, let's leave the word saying what they want, what, but we believe that Milan is a great Milan. Yeah. yeah Milan is a great city. Yeah, of so, course, it's a great city and you all can experience this, for example, middle of the October, there is something called Host. Exactly. The big exhibition yes. and there I really recommend to uh, spend a couple of hours at uh, Navili at the downtown of Milan yes. and there you can experience yourself the Easter egg yes okay exactly. with nice fine dining and a little yes. bit party and everything yeah. and this is for me Milanese style yeah okay yeah. not only working but also no. having a party and exactly. to celebrate a little bit what you achieved yeah So, and now uh, we, we go into detail with the achievement, which yeah. is of course from outside the design. Yeah. And the design is really nice, in my opinion, especially the backside. Yeah, we worked with, uh, uh, with a colleague of us, let's say, with a, with a designer. Mm. Yeah. And uh, which brought uh, to us uh, really new ideas. Starting from the back, uh, we decided to go from uh, corners, so to round corners. Yeah. Uh, and to uh, more, let's say, uh, peak corners. Let's yeah, say. yeah. So the design is more soft towards uh, the old appartamento. The, our uh, logo is now vertical in the back. Yeah. This is also, pardon me, is a bit of provocation too, because yeah. the rocket was al always represented horizontal. Yeah. But uh, Cometti, the designer, said that's probably the time to, to do another step, yeah. to present the name in another way. Vertical, so, yeah. So yeah. we decided huh. to bring it vertical. And then the particular thing is that uh, Uh, you can appreciate uh, the 3D layout of the site. Yeah. So we decided to brought forward the yeah. idea of the holes, of the different corners yeah. of yeah. the holes, but now we decided to bring it in a 3D uh, resolution. Cool. So you can feel, in fact, uh, that there is a, a 3D layout. Okay. Then let's go to the front side. The front side has a really new, extremely new features. Let's start from, uh, we call it uh, the motor of the machine, which yeah. is the group. Yeah. And uh, the group uh, is, uh, of course, uh, a totally new design. We decided, working on a base of the traditional E61, yeah. group, we decided to bring a new uh, style, which reminds a little bit uh, the front uh, of a boat. Yeah. The front of a, of a ship. Yeah, small yacht design, huh? Exactly. From the shape, yeah. Then new taps yeah. and new handles. 
with a different plastic mm. used is more, let's say, user friendly. Yeah, the haptic is very nice, really good to operate. Yeah. Which we will test then at the other side. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, we have uh, a, a new drip tray, yeah. which is uh, bigger. Yeah. And the new basement. This is something that is not aesthetical, mm. but with a new basement using uh, a material called magnesium. Ah. And a base which is built in one mm. piece, in one piece, yeah. sorry, we have in fact a stronger machine, which is more robust. Yeah, yeah. Ha, just a moment, Daniela, I do comparison. Yeah. Here. Ah, yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Is longer and of course is deeper inside. Contains yeah. more 40% more of water. Mm. And this is practical, for example, during flushing, the water stays inside. Exactly. Exactly, and you don't ah. have water, uh, let's say, okay. flushing outside yeah. The, yeah. the drip tray. And from the old one, the tolerance is a little bit higher, uh, higher so it's not that super precise. Yeah. You and here is more precise. Yeah, we decided to reduce uh, quite much the tolerance, and uh, the the drip tray is going in without any single movement. Yeah. So now it's super stable, of course, with the insertion, you need to be a little bit precise. Exactly, exactly. But uh, yeah. you get used in two, three times. Cool, <laughs> cool. So now, last but not least, uh, before we go to the adjustment, yeah. uh, we can mention the uh, five different colors, exactly. right? Exactly, yeah, yeah. Uh, we are proposing uh, two new in reality, but uh, going from the old one, let's start from the stainless steel. Yeah. Stainless steel, we have uh, the match. Stainless steel white, stainless steel copper and stainless steel black. That's the first new color. Yeah. On the matte black we have the black uh, copper and the total black. Yeah. I love to name it like that yeah. because you have uh, two different uh, uh, let's say uh, quality of yeah. black. Outside matte the in internal part a bit more glossy. Yeah. Glossy, shiny, super, shiny. yeah, wow, wow, that's cool, that's cool. So now we, we go to the adjustment of the pressure. Yes. Uh, and uh, inside is an NTC sensor, but this we can do uh, when we look at the open machine. Yeah, okay? exactly. Yeah. From outside, for the end user, uh, we have the possibility to set four different steps of temperature starting from, we call it the entry, let's say the basic yeah. temperature, medium temperature, high and extremely high. Yeah. And the second thing you can set is uh, the sensibility of uh, the water. Okay. You can set uh, the sensibility in case you have a water which is more softer, softer. Mm. You can set the sensibility which is higher. So okay. More case. Yeah. And for the adjustment, we need the tool Exactly. Uh, the blind filter. The blind filter. Okay. Just for safety, as in the circuit remains always a bit of water, yeah. we just suggest to take out the standard filter and to use the blind filter in order not to have any exit of water. To set the machine is pretty easy. The sequence, I'm gonna do that yeah. step by step. The first step is switch off the machine. Second step is wave the handle and open it. Third step is switch on the machine and wait that the light becomes yellow. As soon as the light becomes yellow, you have to take down the lever and you're gonna see that uh, now we have four uh, lighting in red. Four lighting means that the temperature is now at the highest level. To change it, for instance, if you want to bring it down under one bar, you have to take yeah. the lever. Daniele, down. just a moment. And how how do we see at the manometer which exactly. is which corresponds uh, how many bars to correspond You're to right. exactly the highest temperature? Is it 1.2, 1.3? 1.2, 1.25. Yes. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And now, of course, we are modifying it to yeah. 0 0.9. Okay. But of course, the machine will react only when you are out of the uh, visa procedure. Okay. And now the procedure is uh, the machine is, is in standby. Okay. Yeah. 
by taking up and down the lever now we are we are gonna see one only flash yeah flashing red let's go to two so we go roughly to one bar and you have two flashes in red to confirm it you just need to wave the lever wait three seconds till the light gets stable red yeah and then down again confirmed and here we are in the second step meaning sensibility yeah we leave the sensibility at medium at the moment yeah. because our water mm. has a bit of minerals in yeah, yeah 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 sure so we confirm also the two by holding the lever up mm. green light stays stable okay by going down we are out of the program and by seeing the light in blue, meaning we are able now to work. Okay, cool. You're gonna see really shortly, oh no, we are there, that the bars are now at about one, because we decided to have two flashing red lights. Yeah, exactly. And we are at one, more or less. Yeah, one bar is good for espresso, not for, so good for the steam, but... Exactly. Is for espresso, is, uh, in this machine, uh, is uh, probably the suggested. Yeah. In case you want more steam, of course, you can go to three or four flashing. Yeah. At that point, the only oh. suggestion we give, but it's still not bad. Still good, still good. So we, we will do then a test uh, later on with the, in, in this... Uh, uh, adjustment position Perfect. okay okay just for a test okay it's only a test so cool yeah thank you yeah super uh, shall we do now or, or later when you want is your choice okay Here yeah I'm I'm, I'm now <laughs> super curious because I've never worked with the machine so of course it's now uh, new and so I just take uh, one bigger cup here this one that's uh, for me for cappuccino is more easy with this one i can work with a single and here even with a double because i choose now the double because the double is there already without blind filter as i'm quite lazy i just use what is there and so we will test of course now uh, first we have to figure out how many grams we like. I like between 16 and 17 grams. Okay, so therefore I want to know uh, I do a little bit of precision, not too much, okay. but at least a little bit to, to get some glue what, what we are doing. So, let's see 12.2 is not really much. <laughs> we, we need a bit more. Yeah, yeah, so 16 would be good, I think. <laughs> 20 is much too much. Yeah, 16.4, that's Perfect. fine. Okay. And now we will see how much 16.4 grams uh, will be. Like this? Yeah. Seems to be okay. Now, second step, leveling. Why leveling? Because the water uh, enters with, uh, let's say, between 9, 10, 11 bar of pressure. And so a little bit of distribution before the tamping is quite helpful. And so for the tamping, you can use the three fingers and find out so that it's more or less horizontal. Yeah, like this. Yeah, and now we, we do a test, okay, just uh, so it's the first test. It's a try and error. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is much too coarse, yeah. much too coarse. This is a classical uh, under extraction. So in this way, uh, we, we cannot proceed. So we have to set the grinder uh, a little bit more fine. Okay, otherwise the result is too 
poor, okay? This yeah. is under extraction. And uh, yeah, the cake is quite okay. So, now comes step number two. First, we have to remove the retention, of course. How much uh, gram of retention the grinder has? Well, I would say about two, two gram, three gram. Is okay, very, okay. It's very cool. Okay. Of course, we have always a bit of retention in these kind of layouts. Yeah. Okay, so here, checking. Yeah, zero, okay. Now I'm really curious, and of course, after the usage, just doing a flush. So I think we need 15, 16 seconds. Yeah, a little bit more. So, yeah, 16.9, okay, so now another cup, another luck. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's the way we can uh, we can see how, how it works to work with Apartamento TCA, so that's okay. Now we can see if there is a difference, yes or no. Yeah, much better, huh? And now we open like this and do the uh, sloppy version, of course, here. Huh? Super. That's uh, the remote uh, foaming. It should rotate, and when it gets hot, we stop. Okay? And then the consistency should be a little bit uh, silky, uh, and the silky surface is the sign that the uh, uh, consistency is quite good. Okay? So here is hot. And of course, I have to shake a little bit. And now you see the difference in the color between this one, the uh, extreme under extraction and uh, uh, already much better extraction. So, and now we can uh, break the crema a little bit like this. I'm, I'm not a barista, I'm only uh, showing You're a little better bit. better than a barista. Oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Wow. So that's a little cappuccino for testing. I, I do the sensoric okay. experience. Okay. Optic is, is okay. It's acceptable, not the best one, but it shows how it works. Hmm. Cool. Nice. It's hot. It's hot and uh, deep in the, uh, yeah, in the structure. It's good, it's not too too smooth, not too cold, not too hot, so cool, wow. With such a simple machine, it's really good to find your own uh, uh, way, way. Yeah. of expressing yeah. yourself, okay. Now we go into the deep dive, okay. Step Thank number you. two is coming, yeah.